Revival of studies in China of tradition. Um, what is the nature, with your observation, so far, of this revival? I think I think studying studying Chinese tradition, studying Chinese culture, um, adds richness to life. Adds mm -hmm. a certain other dimension to uh, to life. Um, and also thinking about it in terms of world tradition mm. and thinking about how we represent Chinese traditions to the rest mm. of, of the world. Mm. How do we think comparatively? Um, I was just teaching a class yesterday uh, in which um, we were talking about a very famous play, Mudanting, P and E Pavilion, which is written at almost exactly the same time as Romeo and Juliet in mm. in England. And so we should be thinking the whole world knows Shakespeare and Romeo and Juliet. The world the whole world does not know about Mudanting, which is, in my opinion, a much better play. Mm -hmm. that we can think that we're sort of, on the one hand, we're enriching people's lives in China. On the other hand, we're presenting more of Chinese tradition to the world. Because we are trying to somehow make a division between tradition and modern, and sometimes East and West. But actually, I'm trying to argue that is that division that clear? And also, especially sometimes we even like make it equ uh, make equivalent between Western and modern, but actually this is not actually the case. And also, I, as I said earlier, I think modern educa higher education emphasizes too much, less on humanities, which I think is a problem of, of a global like, problem. And this is what I'm thinking. I think um, we have a rich study on humanities in Chinese tradition, and this is I, I do think this is definitely something we can really contribute to the world civilization to at least out, um, offer a very important alternative view of humanities. Mm -hmm.